Hi guys, welcome to the first part of my GDL vlog in collaboration with lawcareers.net. You can catch my entire experience at the bar in my blog about it on blessingatthebar.com. This is where you'll find me giving tips and advice and vlogging my experience so that you can get to know the GDL, the process behind it, and it can give you a bit of encouragement if this is something that you're looking into doing. So where I'm at right now is that I'm three weeks away from starting my GDL at City Law School in London. I've just graduated from Warwick. I did history and politics, so I'm a non-law student. And that means that after the GDL, I'll be going on to do the BPTC. Um, so I've been given my timetable, my lecture timetable. I can see what I've got. So I'll just get that so I can tell you guys what I've got going on. So looking at my timetable that I've been given, um, it says I've got Mondays off and that's quite a common thing for the GDL to have one day that's completely off. Um, it says I've got a two hour lecture on public law on Tuesdays. Um, Wednesday I've got four hours of lectures so I've got equity and trust and the, um, in the start of the afternoon then straight after that it says I've got taught law. Then I have Thursday two hour lecture in the morning on land law and then again on Thursday I've got a double day so I've got European Union law in the afternoon and then on Friday mornings I have criminal law lectures and the way that they do it in the city is that the last module contract is taught online but obviously you still have tutorials in person like all of the other modules and what's really good is they've given me all of the term dates including where my exam periods are so that I can be all prepared and ready and I've spoken to my really good friend who's on the LPC who's had a look at it and has said that it's manageable and that I'll definitely be able to handle all of that. In terms of how I prepared the summer before, the first thing that I've done is I've completely relaxed. I haven't worried about work and I haven't worried um, too much about law school or getting overly stressed about the fact that the GDL is going to be hard. I've essentially just tried to be as cool as a cucumber to the greatest extent that I can. Um, that's not to mean that I've completely neglected what needs to be done though. Um, I had a look at all of the deadlines for mini pupillage applications because um, most people apply, some, a lot of people apply for pupillage at the start of their BPTC or the year before their BPTC begins. So I've kept in mind deadlines for minis and most of them are sort of end of September, start of November. So I'm not worrying too much about all of that just yet. I'm going to actually let myself, you know, enjoy my summer and have a good time and chill. My friend who's doing the LPC, and he's doing the accelerated LPC before he heads off to a, like, very top Magic Circle firm, he said, for the whole month before he started the program he went on holidays he went on nights out he had a good time with friends so i would rec definitely recommend that um you also relax and chill and i hopefully this will turn out really well for me when by the time i get there i've also um i'm about to pick up a book called learning the law by williams I think it's Glenville Williams. I'll I'll put the link down below. I apologise if I got that wrong. Um, so I'm going to get this book called Learning Law and it's recommended as sort of an introductory text to law and I think that'll be good for me because I did a history degree so it'll be nice for me to have a look at the different skill sets that you need if you're doing a um, law degree and also an overview of what needs to be going on. Um, I've also kept myself really up to date with legal news and, and legal happenings. Um, I follow pretty much every legal news outlet on Twitter. Guardian Law is really good but obviously one of the best ones is definitely lawcareers.net. They summarise all of the information that you need to know, everything that you um, need to know that's topical and it also does it in such a way that you can learn and you can actually have your own conversations about it which is basically the whole point isn't it? So the last thing for me to do now with three weeks to go is registration. Um, I've also made sure that I've had a look at the actual course structure. I think it's really important people do that. Have a look at the structure of the course. What are the outcomes that you're supposed to learn? Basically be ready because you always want to prepare in advance because as my mum always says, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. I have been told and warned by so many people about how difficult it's gonna be. So I definitely think doing things like taking your time before and just relaxing, enjoying life, 
doing fun stuff, giving your brain a break because you more than likely have just finished a really stressful degree and final year is by no means easy. But I'm not thinking of it so much as the big Mount Everest of law school more than I'm going back to learn more stuff and finally I can actually know what I'm talking about um, when I'm talking to lawyers so it's gonna be great and I'm really excited to just have the knowledge so look at it as something to be excited for and something for you to go for and I think you'll enjoy it so much more catch me again next month um, I'll be updating my vlog with another video and that will be from city I'll be one week in and I'll be giving you all sorts of details on what my first week was like, um, how I'm finding the environment and tips and advice I have if you're at the very start of your GDL too. Don't forget if you haven't already please subscribe below to the lawcareers.net channel and make sure you also head to my channel Blessing Makosha Park and also www.blessingatthebar.com where you can read my blog about my GDL and I also have advice and tips and stuff for aspiring lawyers and all new subscribers to the main let's get a free gift from me so that will be really nice to see you guys reading my blog as well so thank you very much and i'll catch you guys in about a month's time bye